Hello everyone. We made it back to our quarry finally, uh, for the first time in a, in a while. You may have seen it in one of our other videos where we were exploring the holes that they dug in the spoils heap at the time. Um, but now we've come back and they started to use the hole, so now um, in the, pit that, the pits they dug. So now we've just got the spoils heap to look over. So we've, we've waited a while, this is because it allows the, the heap to weather and it will reveal fossil material as, as it weathers down. And so we're here to effectively wander around this giant hill of, of mud and clay and see what's been revealed. So let's get stuck in and, and see what we can find. Yeah. So that's from the base of this sort of that's metabolist stroke coming in the Eudoxus so. thing. Got our first reptile find of the day here. This is a uh, partial rib of an ichthyosaur. Now, ribs, uh, partial rib remains are, can be quite common. An ichthyosaur has many ribs, which can then be broken up into frag fragments, so you can find potentially find lots of these. What we've got here is a uh, partial snout of an ichthyosaur. It's only small, but it's a really cool find. Um, one of the, the, the best of the day so far, um, and hopefully we can keep finding more and more things. Having not done this before, it's quite uh, difficult to, um, where you, as you may be familiar, if you fossil hunt more than one area, um, there, there are differences in the nature of uh, what the way things are preserved and um, it's taken me a little while to get used to that here so when normally out with Steve it's quite a dark colour to the bone um, and there's often this kind of browny tinge to it whereas here it's, it can be the surface can be well, much lighter as you saw in, in with the, the snout and it's something that I'm not quite used to so it's taking a little while to get my eye in for, for fossil hunting in this environment. Got our next exciting find, and this is what looks like a pliosaur uh, paddle digit. Found another paddle digit. Um, this is a uh, plesiosaur, or uh, this is from a plesiosaur or a pliosaur. Not not sure. A 
I should also probably mention that if you are going to go and try and fossil hunt in a quarry, you need the, the relevant permissions and you'll have to be inducted to the site and you'll have to have the, the relevant safety wear. As you can see, my shadow is the hard hat. I'm also wearing a high vis because this is an active working quarry or active working site. So, health and safety does apply in these situations. something here or at least I think I do it looks to be or what might be the most spectacular find uh, we, we, we'll make today um, to begin with I wasn't sure it looked uh, it's encrusted with oysters and things so I thought this was just a rock but digging deeper it my suspicions are being confirmed in the, that I think it is a massive vertebra and from the looks of things it looks like a cervical vertebra from a uh, pliosaur these huge Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does appear to be. Well, it's a long up then. Yeah, well, yeah. picked up something else. Um, I can tell it's bone but at the moment I'm not actually sure what this is but it's another really good find. It's been quite productive uh, here. This is We've spent a fair few hours looking around around now. We found a few fair few bits of bone. Um, not an uncommon thing to find in the quarry. Um, everything gets scooped up and churned and broken and, and so these things can be washed out and lots of partial pieces sadly the, the whole um, whole bone or the whole specimen gets destroyed in this process especially with these modern tools and things like that. Oh hello. Hey. Something here as well. Well what is it? <coughs> no, come down now. Another 
diagnostic there for us. Have a look. But here's our, our haul from the from the day. Um, as you can see, that pliosaur vert is massive, large ichthyosaur vert, another small one, and a few bits of ribs and miscellaneous bones that we, we don't know or I have, haven't been identified yet. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and hopefully we'll see you next time.